The latest data from NOAA, January 14, 2021, shows clearly that the net zero emission strategy is a huge gamble that rests on premises that are consistently being undermined. If we look at two key premises that underpin the 2015 Paris Agreement, that the largest contribution to global warming is the atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide, and that global warming is likely to reach 1.5 degrees Celsius between 2030 and 2052, if it continues to increase at the current rate. Then the latest data reveals both to be fundamentally incorrect. In fact, it shows that for the period 2015 to 2020, carbon dioxide concentration has increased at the fastest rate recorded since the Industrial Revolution, over three parts per million per year. For the period 2015 to 2020, global average temperature has slowed to the slowest possible rate of increase, the trend being 0.01 degrees Celsius per decade. If the current rate is maintained, then it will take 100 years for global average temperature to increase by just 0.1 degrees Celsius. A quick analysis will demonstrate these conclusions. For an initial sense of perspective, here is the merged ice core record of carbon dioxide concentration since around 1750, the start of the Industrial Revolution. Using the underlying data, we can see the rise in concentration level, with the overall positive trend being 0 0.49 parts per million per year. Though global average temperature records do not go back as far as 1750, to provide a wide perspective, we can see that since 1880, global average temperature has been rising at a rate of 0 0.08 degrees Celsius per decade. Now we look at what has happened since the 2015 Paris Agreement using the latest NOAA data. Despite the many international agreements, the carbon dioxide atmospheric concentration level has risen sharply. In fact, the rate of increase is now 3.11 parts per million per year. This is the fastest rate since the Industrial Revolution. It is six times faster than the overall trend since 1750. The picture is radically different with global average temperature. Since 2015, the rate of increase has almost come to a halt. The rate is just zero. 0 0.01 degrees Celsius per decade. To borrow a phrase from the IPCC 2018 special report, if it continues to increase at the current rate, then it would take 100 years to increase by just 0 0.1 degrees Celsius and 1,000 years to increase by one degree Celsius. It is just one eighth of the overall trend since 1880. Our initial conclusions have thus been verified, but we and the organizers of COP26, the IPCC, the UNFCCC must not underestimate the consequences. Given the sharp rise of carbon dioxide concentration and the drastic slowing of global average temperature trends over the same period, 
there must be serious concerns within climate science whether this statement can be true. And given the current rate of increase of global average temperature, this statement is wildly inaccurate. But the UN COP26 net zero emission strategy that will affect millions, billions of lives is based on these false premises. All the governing bodies responsible for COP26 are urged to reassess the strategy and the underlying theories given that the facts have changed.